I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're taking a quick look at YoTribe, a video conferencing app that works with up to 15,000 people. If there are more than 36 people on one page, as you see here, it will open a second page, which they call areas. So we can have area one with 36 people, area two with another 36, area three with another 36. But let's take a look at the simple function of how we communicate. This profile picture that you see of me will follow my arrow, and when I get close to another participant, we create a circle, and the video chat immediately begins. Now, if we had a lot of other people in this room, we could have multiple circles with uh, different groups chatting separately with each other. So my friend Spidey is live. He's just a little silent today. At any moment, I can leave this circle, and I can find another group if we did have more participants. You'll see at the bottom of the menu, I can turn my microphone on and off, I can turn my video on and off, and I can also share my screen. Let's jump back in here with Spidey. At any moment, I could share my desktop screens, or I could choose a specific application window, or just the Chrome tab that I'm using. I'm going to exit that circle and leave Spidey alone, and maybe I would go find another group if I did have more participants. If I'm not in a circle with somebody for the live video conference, I can still hover over their name and I can choose to message them directly. And of course, our friend Spidey could message us back. Let's take a look at the right side menu to see what else we can do. We'll start with the chat since we were there. We can easily send a message to everyone. And that would appear in everyone's chat box. And we could have a large chat with dozens and dozens, hundreds and hundreds, and even thousands and thousands of people. If I am in a circle, I can chat with the people directly in the circle that I'm in. Another great feature about YoTribe is the broadcast function. Here, especially if I have multiple areas with dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of people, I can start a broadcast and I can get up to six other people to join this broadcast. So for example, if we were having small group activities in a lot of different circles, in a lot of different areas, I could have myself and a team of panelists make announcements or even have a panel discussion where everybody else uh, could see and hear that broadcast. And here's what it looks like, and it does give this same countdown to every single person who is on my private URL, and there I am. Only one user is listening because I only have one guest today. I can also shrink that down and continue to broadcast and continue to move around and I'm now going to stop broadcasting. And I can do that at any time. One great feature of this is in most other video conference platforms, including our favorites, we don't have a lot of ability to have two-way communication. When people are in breakout rooms, for example, I can broadcast a message, but I can't broadcast my video and my image and my participants can't chat back with me directly if they're in a breakout room, but using the broadcast function and using the chat function, people can send me messages or the entire group messages at any moment. The final thing we'll take a look at here are some of the settings. At any time, I can change my profile picture, I can change my camera, I can change my headset. Uh, if I'm not already a host, uh, I can get YoTribe and you can go to their website to sign up for it. Another thing we can do is we can set a room background. Here's a nice background. I'm gonna confirm that. And now I'm simply roaming around on the page. It just has a background and that background does appear for everybody who is in my meeting room. Another great thing for the background is using topic areas. So if I use the topic template, I could let my participants know that topic one is about art and it's discussions about art or it's sharing art using share screen or holding things up to our camera. And so if I move into that room, keep in mind, I still need to move into Spidey's 
circle. And now Spidey is live and we are talking about art and we are maybe screen sharing or we're holding up different things that we have designed. I can move out of that. And another great thing about these room backgrounds is you'll notice that I can upload a custom background. So instead of topic one, topic two, topic three, I can create a template that says art and I can create a template that says music. And at any time I can remove those and go back to normal. Another thing I can do is set up an icebreaker question. Uh, for example, what's your favorite food or what's your favorite movie? And this allows my guest when they enter the room to be ready to answer that question when they're meeting people, just giving them something to talk about without me having to make announcements or broadcast. Finally, I can update my room name. I've named mine Robert's Romper Room because I like alliteration, but we can name it anything at any moment. So if we're working with a specific client or with a specific topic, we can customize that. I'll go back here to Spidey to turn on my camera and say thank you for watching and we hope this has been helpful and informative.